Wind is the most tangible part of weather. It bunches and drives clouds around the planet. It affects everyone, everywhere. Sometimes we have more wind than we need. Others, not so much. But it's rare to find a place that doesn't have enough wind to make power. I'm Dennis. Thanks for watching. Humans have harnessed wind for many millennia. Here's an ancient Iranian example. The Vought spins within the protective housing. In recent history, the prevailing technology for harnessing power from wind has been horizontal access wind turbines. You can see how large these need to be to produce usable power. Most are fairly slow turning. Many use gearboxes to step up the rotational speed for a generator. Some hots pierce the sky above the clouds. These need navigational hazard lights. Horizontal access wind turbines don't do as well in buffeted winds. The key is that they need a lot of clean air far above the ground. This hot looks to be about 30 feet off the ground. It sits in an open field with plenty of clean, unbuffeted air. Wow, this thing is really moving. I would venture to guess that it's making plenty of power. Down closer to the ground, the wind behaves differently. It swirls and pushes where it will. Life is much denser near the ground. All manner of creature dwell with us here. I say use the wind as you need. It's there for us all. But birds can be affected by certain wind turbines. I love the birds in my yard. They eat flies, mosquitoes, and are constantly grazing on ants. They're very beneficial. The statistics that I've seen show that between 250,000 and 1.7 million birds are killed by wind turbines each year in the United States. I'm not sure why a bird would find itself in the path of a wind turbine's blades, but it seems to be a thing. I'd rather not take the chance of hurting any one of the lovely birds in my backyard. Drab-type vertical access wind turbines don't pose a threat to any wildlife. There are no harsh edges. It's true that it's more difficult to produce power with a vertical access wind turbine. They turn slower, they're less efficient. However, in order to protect my friends, I think it's worth the effort to find a way to make my VOTs more efficient and produce more power. Come along for the journey. It's going to be fun and rewarding. Okay, talk to you soon.